Oh man, I tell you, if I would edit this video, but it takes too long. Let's, oh man, I tell you, I was out hiking today. Oh, trying to recover from a broken neck is uh, is something else. I've been called to jury duty, but you know, for the first time in my life, I I'm going to try to decline that uh, for medical reasons. But we'll see where that goes. Anyway, I just uh, it's, it's it's election season, right? And uh, it's only appropriate that we talk about these things. And uh, I let me just give you a little story. I was just on the phone with a friend of mine because I called him, and uh, he's a friend of mine. I have very few friends, <laughs> you know, so, uh, for obvious reasons. If you watch my channel, you're like, oh, this guy's a total prick, uh, right wing lunatic. Um, but uh, anyway, I. Uh, we we talk and uh, I so I was asking him. I said, "Well, what you know? What what are people in Michigan thinking? I mean, after the uh, debate between um, Whitmer and um, oh, God dang it, what's her name? Uh, Tr Tudor T Tudor Tudor Dixon Gretchen. Well, Gretchen. I mean, doesn't that sound like a witch's name? <laughs> Gretchen Whitmer. Ah! Boy, if I saw her come out of a closet, I'd probably run the other way. Uh, God knows what she did to Michigan was horrible. And uh, and I said, so, you know, what did you think of the debate between her and uh, Tudor Dixon? Didn't watch it. Well, you know, uh, don't you think it's important? You know, and uh, he says, well, me and my family, we don't talk politics. I said, well, it's not politics. I mean, these things impact you. I mean, what about all your kids being out of school for like over a year? I mean, uh, and then she forced them to wear masks and she put vaccine mandates on your state and she's wiped out your industry. I mean, aren't these things important to you? You know, and uh, he's just like, well, we don't talk politics. <laughs> How is that politics? How is politics something that, that, that is so important to your life? I mean, I, I you know, anyway, he, he did, you know, I, 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 anyway, he, at least he talks to me and he's a friend of mine. I, and uh, by the way, I mean, most, I don't, I'm not sure what he didn't say, whether he was Republican or Democrat. He just says that I just don't talk about these things, which is bizarre to me because these are the most important things that go on in your life, right? I, am I just like completely stupid? I mean, taxes impact your life in tremendous ways. Uh, uh, lockdowns, uh, shut small businesses out, destroyed them, impacts your life in tremendous ways. Uh, uh, luckily, here in Florida, we had DeSantis who kept all the businesses open. But if you live in a Democrat state, most of the small businesses were destroyed. Restaurants were put out of business. I mean... How can these things not be important to you? And, and that's considered politics? I, I No, I consider it survival. <laughs> I mean, you know, but hey, you know, who am I? So let's just talk about the election for two seconds. And uh, uh, well, we watched uh, Kathy Hochul versus uh, Lee Zeldin. Uh, uh, Lee uh, destroyed her in the debate. And, uh, and you can watch all various YouTube channels. I'm not going to go into any details about that. And uh, like I said, I'll be getting much more sophisticated with the channel. Uh, just to tell you, uh, that was one of the things that I did promise my friend. Um, because he's, he's more interested in what I'm doing with my computer build uh, than, than politics or anything else. And so I will be filming uh, uh, me putting together my uh, creator house. I've talked about the creator house. Uh, so we're going to be we're going to be working on that in future videos. I've still got the uh, Roby power washer video coming up uh, because my channel is it's kind of like life, you know, about living life and all the things that we run into. And uh, and so building a creator house, which is what I'm into. I'm trying to get into videos and videography and my channel, which gets uh, 20 people that watch these videos. So, you know, and, and by the way, I mean, can you imagine? I get 20 people that watch these videos and YouTube took me down with a strike. <laughs> now, if you don't know what a strike is, that just means that they're, they're saying you keep talking about what you're talking about and we're banning you from the from the whole network. And uh, I don't even make any money. Oh, my God. I can't imagine what what the, the, they're thinking about. But uh, that's right. I'm up on Rumble and uh, we'll, you know, and I put the video there. You can watch my previous video. 
So we got uh, Stacey Abrams versus Brian Kemp. Not even a contest. Brian Kemp's going to run away with that. But what I'm hoping, and I think it's uh, looking pretty good, I think Herschel Walker's going to pull that damn thing out. Um, I, I watched the debate. I, I, I give it a 50-50 somewhere around in there. And if you watch all the, I mean, I, there are a lot of people on YouTube that analyze these things a lot better than me. Um, but, I mean, I, you know, and, and Herschel Walker, I mean, I just I just found it refreshing in the fact that uh, he, he don't speak all that well. You know, he's not like your, your you know, collared, uh, let's tie wearing uh, uh, neocon or uh, polished Democrat where, you know, he he's just seemed very down to earth uh, uh, and just speaking his mind about the policies. And, I you know, to me, I found that very refreshing. Of course, we got gruesome news and Newsom in uh, California. Nobody's going to stand against him. And we got Ron DeSantis here. <laughs> I, mean, I can't even believe. I what? What is the point? I have even watched some. Uh, um, actually, here in Florida, and and I fought the Dem the Republican Party for this. I'm seeing advertisement for Ron DeSantis against. Uh, well, maybe they just want to just like bury him i mean maybe if maybe if he wins by you know 50 points instead of 10 points it means something i don't know i think that money be much better spent uh giving it to um the uh pennsylvania government run um i can't remember the guy's name uh it, boy i tell you he's, he's you know and that he's on uh uh the the coattails of dr oz versus uh and of course if you watch that debate you know so that's that's kind of it. But I just couldn't believe that my buddy knew nothing about Gretchen Whitmer versus Tudor Dixon. <laughs> I, I, I mean, if you live in the state and you've been, I mean, luckily I was here in Florida and we were completely free. You know, we don't wear masks. We don't uh, adhere to any of that CDC crap that they put out. And, uh, you know, I hope I'm not going to get another strike because I... I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't follow the CDC policies and guidelines. Uh, if you want to, you know, hit your kids with five boosters, put them with five boosters, you know, keep injecting them, keep injecting them. But uh, we are seeing some things and I don't want to talk and get another strike. So anyway, uh, so what else did I want to talk about? Uh, there's the election. That's looking pretty good. Uh, well, we got the upcoming uh, creator series. I'm going to be working on uh, building the uh, building out the house with the uh, computer and the. Uh, by the way, the uh, uh, video cards have come way down. I I was shocked. I bought the AMD Radon uh, RX uh, 6800 XT. Uh, um, uh, dang on it, uh, Japanese card, and uh, boy, it's come down tremendously in price. Um, so you can pick them up dirt cheap if you want to pick up a good graphics card. Uh, I might pick up a second one. You know, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if my old servers can uh, handle that. I think they will. Um, so maybe it's time to just, just pick up a good graphics card. Uh, the monitor um, that I bought actually went up in price. So it's kind of like, you know, you never know. Things can go up in price. Uh, talking silver gold platinum uh, in the financial uh, environment right now um i i i i'm telling you that we are in the precipice of a major financial crisis okay whether you want to believe that or not uh real estate prices are plummeting um i i honestly think i'm seeing everything i'm seeing on youtube says that that the world is running out of precious metals and that uh, India, uh, Russia, China, Pakistan, uh, Indonesia, I mean, you name it, they're all buying up gold, silver, and platinum, and the Brinks nations are going to trash the dollar. Now, you also know that Saudi Arabia just gave the, the middle finger to the Biden administration and said, no, uh, we're not going to help you with your, your bid to get reelected uh, Democrats. Um, we're cutting production. <laughs> so, and, and by the way, I mean, I don't know if you're looking out, but I mean, it looks like diesel prices. Whoo. I mean, I, we might run out of diesel fuel from what I'm seeing within the next 30 to 
90 days? That that would be insane. Uh, hell, I, I'm making, I'm I, just to tell you what I'm doing, I'm not saying you got to do it. I'm making daily runs, and God knows I hate giving Walmart my business, but there's just no local stores in my area. I live in Central Florida, um, so I'm making daily runs to Walmart, and I'm buying crazy shit. Anything that I think of, uh, cookies, because <laughs> I like chocolate chip cookies. Uh, soft drinks. Soft drinks is is kind of water, but it's flavored water. You know, uh, I, of course, I buy the diet, which doesn't mean anything. It's still extremely bad for you. But I want my my supply of sun-kissed and Canada dry. And, you know, sometimes, I mean, because I, I always get different uh, cravings. Uh, God knows I got a coffee supply that's going to last me for a year. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and that was because of my wife, uh, my ex-wife. When she moved out, I don't know why, she left all the coffee. And a lot of it's expired. It's dated 2021. Well, it still tastes good to me. I, I've been brewing it. Um, I got I got tea. I got, I mean, you name it, I'm buying it. I mean, every single, uh, every other day, every third day, I'm making a trip to... Um, to Walmart, and I'm just buying up anything and everything I can think of. Uh, lima beans, uh, pinto beans, uh, tuna fish. I mean, you know, anything that's going to keep for three or four years because when the shit hits the fan, as I'm predicting, it's going to take place within the next six months and probably less than that. Um, you're not going to, these things are not going to be attainable. Same with, uh, silver. And, uh, and, and that was one thing I was going to tell you. It was, um, and by no, I'm all over the place with this video, but I mean, I, I, all these things just pop into my head. Uh, so I went to SD Bullion, uh, that, and that's one of the places that I buy from. I, Monex, if you're, if you're a big fish, you can buy from them. They, they got good prices on quantity, um, you don't see, I mean, they don't really advertise that well, which is good. I mean, anybody that advertises a lot, you got to worry about. Uh, and, and, of course, you get Miles Franklin with uh, the Silver Slayer. And, uh, and boy, I love Andy Sheckman. I mean, he, he, I tell you what, he's all over YouTube talking about what's coming. And uh, I, I, I believe him. I mean, I, I, I got to talk to him for a second on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a terrible situation because a sheriff rolled in right next to me. And I was like, Andy, I got to go. The sheriff's here. And I'm not sure if he's going to arrest me. Uh, that was a whole other story because I was on a gun store at that time. Uh, wow. You know, don't want to don't want to get crazy with the video. But uh, and so Andy's never talked to me since then. <laughs> and I don't blame him in a way. Um, but uh, so anyway, the um, right now there's a one kilo well, it was, as of yesterday, uh, one kilo Britannica on um, uh, on SD Bullion. And uh, it, it was like $850 or so. Uh, and so I, what I did is I crunched the numbers. And, you know, I, I always buy silver coins because I figure that if, if the shit hits the fan, you know, if you're going to be out bargaining and you want to have somebody a well, what now is a $20 silver coin, but it may be a $500 silver coin. Who knows where it's going to go? But uh, so, you know, if, if I want to buy something, then, that, you know, a loaf of bread or whatever, you know, it, it, you're going to be able to do it with that silver coin. But when I weighed the, the ratio, I mean, that, that one kilo Britannica coin from SD Boy, <laughs> good damn deal. And from what I'm seeing, I'm telling you, silver is running completely off the market. Uh, I know I've been all over the place with this stupid video, but I haven't been able to post. Uh, you know, when you get a strike on YouTube, they took me down for a week. So I haven't been able to talk to you or do anything or say anything. Um, I just, uh, I'm hoping the election. I really, really think that maybe... Uh, we'll turn things around. It's going to, we got some tough times ahead, especially the people in the Northeast, uh, with the, the fuel prices, uh, their, their heating bills are going to go through the roof and all by the globalists. I mean, you, you can blame the Bill Gates and the, the globalists of the world. Uh, they designed this whole crisis. And, uh, I think down here in Florida, we're going to be somewhat okay, but with the diesel prices going through the roof. And it may not even it may be unavailable in the next twenty eight days to 
couple months, that's going to, that they said the southeast, that's where it's going to hit the worst. Um, woof. I don't know. All I do is just keep watching and thinking and trying to do the best I can. By the way, I got my uh, romaine lettuce. Uh, it's, boy, I tell you, it came in big time in my garden. <laughs> I can't eat it. I mean, how much lettuce can you eat, man? I, I am just harvesting romaine lettuce like a freaking banshee. Uh, I'm eating it on every. Well, today I cooked a hamburger. I put more romaine lettuce on that hamburger than you can ever imagine. I mean, I, I, hell, I'm, well, I wouldn't say it was more lettuce than burger, but I mean, I was like, what the hell are you going to do with all this lettuce? And I, and I bought, you know, and I'm sorry, I, I don't have a huge garden. So I buy cherry tomatoes, maybe one cucumber or something. And then I mix it all together and I buy a salad at, at Home Depot. And then I took, take all my romaine lettuce and I mix it in. I, you know, all you can do is the best you can. So I'll, I'll keep going forward day after day after day. Vote for the best person, not for your party. Okay. Now, if you want, if you think that these Democrat candidates, like, <laughs> I mean, I, I well, let, yeah, I, let's, let's just go there for two seconds. I mean, Hochul. I, New York is destroyed. Everybody's leaving the damn state and coming here to Florida. God knows. I hope they're not going to vote Democrat. She's chased all all of her businesses and everything out. The the, the crime. I'm you know I all I do is I watch well somewhat. I, I'm more of a Fox News watcher and uh, Newsmax and things like that. And they're telling me that the crime rates are insane. Uh, and then she said, "Well, I don't understand." why you're worried about crime <laughs> you know, I, mean, I, I mean for that me if i was living in new york i'd be like well lee lee's the guy for me but you know these democrat lunatics i i think they might vote in this this kathy hochel again i don't know uh you know and so so i guess that's that, that's it i i don't i don't know where else to go with this video because these democrat lunatics they especially in California, I mean, when you see that your state and your cities and the murder rate and fentanyl and open borders and th and you're still going to vote for Democrats? Does that make sense to you? I, I, I it, it, it just boggles my mind. I mean, I'd be like, uh, it, and, and if the Republicans were doing this, well, I actually... Years ago, I was a Democrat. Okay, I, I converted over many years before Tulsi Gabbard to the Republican Party because they, they seemed a bit more sane, and then they became more and more sane, and then when Trump came in, it became the MAGA Party, and uh, make America great again. What's wrong with that? Uh, are you going to vote for these Democrat lunatics? I mean, they, they, they are literally destroying everything. Why would you want... Three million people pouring across the border. Why would you want fentanyl killing three hundred thousand people a day? Why would you want uh, all the things? Uh, high taxes. Why would you want eighty-seven thousand new IRS tax employees? And yet, this is what the people in these Democrat cities and states keep voting for. I mean, look at Philadelphia. My God, I I can't believe the number of people that have been shot and killed in that city in the last few weeks. And they're still going to vote Democrat. It's all politics. Oh, we can't talk about politics. I'm calling my friend in Michigan. Oh, we don't talk about these things. Well, guess what? When your your mom or your sister or your son, you know, has been had a mask on and he can't go to school no more, or uh, you know, your neighbor's been shot dead, or your kid's been shot dead, or died on fentanyl. Well, guess what? You better start paying attention, people. That's it for this video. Boo dog! Hey, by the way, let's exploit the boo dog. Look at him. Oh, yeah. In all his glory. Oh, yeah. I got to give him up tomorrow. My ex-wife is coming for him. So, thought I'd make one more video with him. Peace out. Stay free. And good, 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 good to live in the free free, free state of Florida where I think DeSantis is going to live 
or uh, win in a landslide.